Hi, my name is Elizabeth McCormack and I teach seventh grade accelerated comprehensive science for gifted learners. Um, I've been teaching seventh grade here for a long time and it is a great subject and I, I really enjoy working with the kids in the center. Um, just to go quickly through, so my basic classroom policies, I post the weekly agenda in Canvas and in the room, and at the beginning of each unit, I try to post assignments and due dates in focus. Uh, plans and reality do not always align, so please expect that dates may shift, but I do really try to give the students a clear idea of what will be expected for the entire unit um, so they can make their plans accordingly. Um, all classroom materials will be available on Canvas. Uh, there's a lot of kids who are missing this year, um, certain labs here and there. Um, I am trying to make sure that there's an alternate. If they weren't in class for the lab or they weren't there for the activity, that there's an alternate there described in Canvas. But if they were here, they don't need to do it. Right? The textbook is completely online and must be accessed through the link on Clever. I do use Nearpod to present lectures and post links to self-paced code so that students that miss the day in class or want to get back to my slides can get to them. AirPod's great because it gives them a chance to interact with its slides, um, but it also has that visual like a PowerPoint. I will give them points for the notes they take, um, and then I will give them points to revise the notes, I'm basically paying them to study. Um, I do want to make sure it's clear that Focus is my gradebook, not Canvas. So note that Focus is the official record for class, there will be some assignments that show up as grades in Canvas, some that show up in Focus that, that aren't the same. Um, so the averages in Canvas don't mean what the, anything towards their grade. The feedback I give them on an assignment will show up in Canvas. They send the assignments to me in Canvas, but Focus is their grade. Um, I do give fairly generous submission windows to allow busy students the time they need to finish up labs outside of class. If a student shows as a zero in focus, the assignment has actually been graded and it is a real grade. Um, I have been putting in M's in for missing to let the kids know that they haven't turned in something and so they can really see what will happen if it doesn't get fixed. Um, but if it is a real zero, they have to go through and address that assignment through the late work module in Canvas. Um, that costs a 10 point late fee, regardless of how much the assignment was worth and generally two weeks after the due date, um, it isn't worth as much, it isn't really worth worrying about anymore. Um, but that is how I accept late work. Um, for the actual grade, so the four major components of the way they get grades from me is that they will have the lecture notes they take in class and the revision of those notes. Um, that's their notebook that goes in a spiral. They have labs. Those, a lab will always have some form of lab report. Um, some of them are individual and they will have their own work even though that they might do the activity part together. They write it up on their own and their grade is their own. Those will be in a composition lab book but they need to be submitted to me through Canvas. And some of the labs, they're doing them together on one lab sheet and those I'm grading on paper for the, the work the group did. Um, I am using the district's progress monitoring assessments as the unit assessments, and I will allow for the remediation of those assessments. Um, and then they have their district semester and their final exam. Their final exam this year covers the whole year. The first semester exam is just the first year's material. Um, labs are a really important part of my class. I'm so glad we get to do them again. Um, and I try to offer students as many collaborative, hands-on chances to play with, to apply the content that we cover. Some lab reports are individual, and the PDF of the lab sheet needs to be submitted in Canvas for me to grade. And like I said, other groups, other lab groups, sorry, other labs, the groups will complete one sheet and share the grade. Um, I don't generally assign homework, but if an assignment was not finished in the class time dedicated to it, then students must complete the work on their own time. Um, I do require note revisions for all lecture notes, which will not be done in class. Those are due as part of their notebook at the end of the unit. I do not allow test retakes, and I don't let students redo assignments because they didn't like the grade they received on what they submitted. If it's something's gone wrong in the submission process, that's not the same as you didn't do a good job and want to come back and do it again. Um, I do offer a remediation assignment, so based on their benchmark 
benchmark mastery. And that assignment can boost low scores. The grade they didn't like, they do a, a different type of assignment to show me what they understand. Um, it boosts a low test grade score, covers up mistakes on something that they made. Um, and that's what I use for um, allowing them to show me they now understand something and to boost their grades so that they correspond with what they really know. Um, some, uh, the units of study, so we started with a brief introduction to nature of science, but it is woven throughout the entire year. We are currently working on earth structures or the dynamic earth, um, plate tectonics, um, rock cycle. Um, we'll spend most of the rest of the semester on space and we will start heredity um, genetics uh, before the end um, of semester one. Then we have evolution ecology and then physics um, towards the end of semester two. All right, so this is my commercial for consumable lab materials. So we do lots of labs. Um, many of them require consumable supplies. When open house is in real life, I set out all the cards for all the things I know for the labs that I intend to do, and people could just grab them and take them and bring them in. So in order to try and recreate this idea of a table full of cards, I'm gonna ship email out to all of the um, emails that I have for parents, a link to a file with a spreadsheet that has all of the supplies that I intend to use, but I would really appreciate it if, the, if you want to bring in that you know, box of sugar or um, okay, like bucket of vinegar, then if you claim it, then I don't get duplicates. It's kind of like a, I don't know, a registry. So I really appreciate the support. I'm so glad that we're again allowed to use this stuff up. Um, we did a lot of collaborative stuff that was virtual. And while sometimes it's fun to play with a simulation, I think it's always more fun to actually play with something that's real.